Never install beta 1. So this is iOS 13 beta 1 and do not install unless you have a separate device that you can install this to. By now you probably heard of the dark mode, the automatic switch between light and dark mode, scrolling by being able to hold this bar on the side, the small keyboard on the iPad, new maps and reminders no one cares about. You've probably seen the emoji stickers. Now wow, where did they get this idea from? Android community is crying right now because they haven't thought about this, especially Samsung. You probably heard about changing your teeth and putting piercing on your mustache, on your lips, and all the customizations you can do. But here are 13 things you didn't know you can do in iOS 13. Now we have the new sound icon and when you touch this button it appears and you can scroll to turn the volume down or up. Same thing goes for the iPhone as well. And the mute switch has this animation now. Two, when you go into your control center and you tap on this and you tap on Wi-Fi, you see the other Wi-Fi networks. Try to catch up with that Android users. <laughs> you can do the same thing to Bluetooth, but there's no holding it down to going to your Wi-Fi settings and stuff like that. Also, same thing works with the brightness. You can change your appearance to dark or light. But can you turn off and on the auto brightness? Well, we're talking about Apple here. No, you cannot. To turn auto brightness on or off, you have to go into your settings and then accessibility, which is not in general anymore. And then you tap on display and text size. And then at the very bottom, you have your auto brightness settings. Fantastic. Who needs auto brightness settings, right? Finally, we can control our devices using a mouse. All you have to do is go into your settings, accessibility, touch, assistive touch, and then turn that on, and pointing devices and Bluetooth devices. And then here you can pair your mouse and as you can see, it is connected. I can go into the customize mouse buttons and customize these as I wish. But for example, in the notes, you can not click and drag to select everything, but you can find ways around it and make it work. You can also do the slide. Slide. Keyboard is Fun. Also in accessibility, now we have haptic on successful authentication feature. When you turn this on, when the phone unlocks with your face, it vibrates a little bit. Now let me open up this beautiful note that I created especially for this video. So as you may have heard, you can move the cursor just by tapping on the cursor and moving it around. And if you want to select something, you just drag it and then you select it but it doesn't end there when you pinch in with three fingers as you can see on the top there it is being copied if you do it again it cuts this is beta one it didn't cut so it's okay it's okay and then when you pinch out with three fingers it pastes that's very nice and with the three fingers if you scroll left, it's an undo. And if you scroll right, it's a redo. And with two fingers, now you can change what you selected. You can move up or down. Or if you like, you can go on to something and double tap with two fingers. And it just selects that entire thing. Beautiful. Very useful. I like that. In Safari settings, we have closed tabs. And when you go into the settings, you can select when these tabs that you haven't been using should be closed. In Safari, now when you tap on this, you can request mobile website or desktop website. On iPad, by default, it's set to desktop website. And when you go to website settings, you can turn on or off 
for each website you visit. Also, now we have Download Manager in Safari as well. In Cellular Data, when you go to Cellular Data Options, now we have Low Data Mode. And it says Low Data Mode helps apps on your iPhone reduce their network data use. In Phone Settings, now we have Silence Unknown Callers, which is uh, fantastic. Once again, when we go into accessibility, now we can go and change what the side button which we use to summon Siri does. We can turn it off, we can switch it to voice control, or we can set it back to Siri. And now we have three new animojis, which is Mr. Meows, hello, Mr. Meows, and then Octopus, hi. And then we have this guy, Mr. Cow. <laughs> On iPad, when the keyboard is full, you cannot use the slide, but when you make it small, you can start using it. When you hold down a note, you can open that note next to the other note. So if there's something you have to compare, you can do that easily. Or you can hold this note and go to the main screen and then open it next to Safari and do what you're gonna do with this. Capturing screen is very easy as well. You just slide from here and then it's captured and you can save this or you can write notes on it. You can change the opacity of what you captured so you have more visible notes on it but you're not stuck with this anymore so while you're here you can select screen or full page and full page is actually the entire page you're visiting so you can save the entire page let's see i just want to have this part and then you can save this as pdf ios 13 also comes with new wallpapers that change according to the light mode and the dark mode. These four wallpapers change accordingly. So these are really nice features on iOS 13. But still, there are some things that may make you upset. There is still no calculator and weather app on iPad. Calculator that opens up like a window here would be fantastic. And of course, I'm sure this is going to be fixed in time, but you cannot tell the difference between a regular browser and a private browser which I use to buy gifts for my wife. Still, when you go into your camera, you cannot tap on this 4K 30 sign and change the resolution and the frame rate. And the force touch, the 3D touch feels a little different. Feels like it will not be on the new iPhone. It is very similar to a device that doesn't have 3D touch. So I'm guessing the new iPhone will not have one of my favorite features. Well, thank you very much for watching this short but sweet episode and I hope you enjoyed it. What did you think about iOS 13? What did you think about Apple's WWDC? I think this WWDC was really good. But what did you think? What were you expecting? Were you expecting a better Siri that would understand combined comments like turn the lights off, lock the door and turn the TV on. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below and until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoşçakalın. Do not install Beta 1. No, no. Wow, it's pretty big. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. You know. Okay.
Let me see if I can make it smaller. Oh, Ant-Man style. <laughs> 